Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. This is a neat little project. If you work with a bunch of colors, which I don't, and if you don't keep a bunch of colors open, like go to rows that have three rows of colors where you can see them all, I don't like taking up that space. I just work, you know, I'm just a laser engraver, so I only use really these colors. But if you're trying to get to a unique color at the bottom of the spectrum, and then you make it that color, but you really don't want any fill in another item, let's say, you know, you got two of them and you got, well, I don't want fill in that one. Your fill is gone. So you have to go all the way to the top to get to your no fill symbol. Well, why don't we put one on the, an icon on the toolbar? So if you will go to tools, options, customization, go to commands, well, no, go to commands, and then type in no fill. And there it is right there. Then hold down your control and your alt button and just move it off into the screen and you could actually set it up in here and then hit OK. So now you have a no fill. So if I want that no fill, if this is gone, if I'm way down here, And I want it to be that color. And then I go, you know, I don't want any fill. All I have to do is left click the mouse and take the fill away because my fill uh, symbol is gone from up here. I'm pretty sure there's really no other way to do that. If we, yeah, this is your outline color. Um, you know, I don't, I think that's the only way to do it. So that, and then once you've got that up there, just go to Windows or go to Tools and save as default. And then that will always be there. Pretty cool. I'll, I will utilize that quite a bit. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.